Michigan is the largest producer of tart cherries in the nation, but with rising production costs combined with low wholesale prices, it's getting harder for farmers to make ends meet. A Fremont farmer has found that out firsthand. I'm the fifth generation on the farm. Eric Rusink's family has been growing fruit on this farm for a hundred years. It's a legacy that I'm blessed to carry on. And Their primary crop? Apples. We've got about 500 acres between a couple different farms of apples. For as long as he remembers, they've also had a small tart cherry operation. Uh, right here is our only cherry orchard, which is about 15 acres. There's an issue. Tart cherries have become challenging. Well, the staple market for tart cherries has been the dessert industry, and that's been on a major decline. Low market demand, rising labor costs, that combo always leads to economic struggle. There's different studies on the cost of production. Um, some between 25 to 40 cents a pound. We're probably a little less than that. End of the day, recent wholesale prices for tart cherries are below what it costs to grow them. The last several years, it's been tough to get 20 cents a pound. That's leaving Eric and others to consider killing their cherry crop. Because our primary business is apples, if we needed the space to plant more apple trees, we, these would be gone. They won't be here in a, in a few years, I can tell you that. The industry is not going anywhere. Nate Cheshire with the Cherry Marketing Institute says Michigan cherry acres have remained steady and some orchards are adding trees. Fluctuating prices isn't anything new to people in agriculture. Farming is very hard. Low crop prices happen, you know, good crop prices happen. Unfortunately, you're catching some, you know, maybe it's a bit of a down period the last couple of years. We'll be back strong. Last year on our farm, we had an enormous yield. So. Eric thinks the large cherry producers can survive this downturn, but is unsure if small growers like him can. Farmers are eternally optimistic, so um, we just hope that, you know, the economics are, are different next year with supply or, or consumption or something. We'll either keep going or we'll, we'll take them out. The Cherry Marketing Institute says despite low wholesale prices, they are confident that cherry production in Michigan will remain strong. In Fremont, Darren Bauer, Fox 17 News.